Nappers, this is the Nap Queen. Let's nap nap and welcome back to another episode of Hyperdimension Neptunia Rebirth 2 Sisters Generation. In the last episode, we arrive in the week to find Underling causing trouble again, but when we catch her, she captures a child hostage. Little did we know that that child was actually one of the twin CPU candidates from this nation. After we catch Underling and meet the CPU candidates of the nation, they attack us due to Nepgear being a rival nation CPU candidate. So, with their childish brains, they saw us as threats. So after we teach them a lesson, like an adult, we speak to their oracle, who tells us that the mascot of this nation cannot leave due to a mission that it was given. A top secret mission. But we still have to get to it before Underling does or it's destroyed. We better start looking. Guys, if you're excited to see what happens in this episode, please consider liking, subscribing, and sharing this playlist with someone you know who might be interested in the series. Okay, everyone, so remember what I said in the last episode? We honestly don't know what the heck is gonna happen, so I guess we'll find out once we head back to Louis. Let's do it. Let's just go on right hey, ahead. Hey, where are we going? We're going to Louis. Ah! Uh, all that talking for nothing! What should we do now? Don't look at me. Oh, but hang on, look. Whoa, didn't we just send her packing? Is she trying to stir up trouble again? Maybe, but remember, she's been looking for the mascots too, right? That does sound familiar. But what are you getting at? I'm saying if we follow her, maybe she'll lead us right to the mascot. She was doing that to us, so it's only fair that we switch roles for once. Um, will that really work? If it looks like it won't, then we can think of a second plan as we go. So we're tailing Underling. This should be interesting. <sighs> that looks heavy, Granny. You want a hand or something? No, but thank you, dear. I couldn't burden a stranger with this. No worries. We live the lives that we do thanks to you old fogies. Just tell me where to put this. Thank you so much, dear. Huh? She's helping that old lady. Beneath that crusty shell must lie a warm and gooey wifey candidate. Let's not jump to conclusions. We should keep an eye on her. Thank you for your help. These old bones just haven't been the same lately. That's no good. Take better care of your body. After all, a healthy body will help you live longer. Wise words from such a young lady. Maybe I'm feeling weaker because our CPU hasn't been around. Whoa, you believe in those CPUs? That's your first mistake, Granny. Everyone's following R4 now. I mean, the kids are anyway. My, is that so? Forgive me, this old grandma struggles to keep with the times. You should give it a try. I mean, why not? You'll be shocked at how much better you'll feel. Oh yeah, I got just the thing. Here's a limited edition R4 figurine, endorsed by ASIC. Slap this puppy in your house and you'll be the luckiest granny in all of the Wii. Well, that statue looks more than a little frightening. I know, right? That's its charm. It'll scare away any bad luck that tries to come your way. Is that so? I don't quite understand, but it looks like it would be quite expensive. Yeah, it costs an arm and a leg, but I think we're meant to meet. So, Granny, let me cut you a deal. Okay, that's quite enough. Huh? Get lost! Can't you see I'm in the middle of... Oh, for crying out loud, you again? Don't scam the elderly. That's lower than low. Shut up! Gathering funds for ASIC's operation is really important job, you know. Ma'am, please don't buy that scary figurine. I hope that you can keep your faith in the CPUs. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Was that young lady trying to do something bad? Damn it! I was so close to that sale. Ugh, just you wait. She's running away again. It's fine, let her go. We'll wait a bit and then resume tailing her. Well, this is interesting. We're gonna stop her from trying to con Louise citizens going? into going into our force faith. Okay, sure. Yo, Kittles! I kept you wait- I keep you waiting. 
Finally, jeez. Yeah, you're really late. I was gonna go home in a sec. Aw, oh, hey, let's not throw a tantrum or anything. I brought the goods. Come on, take a good look. That's a boring old R4 chip. We already have that. I thought you said that you had some really good stuff. Shut your trap, you brat. Look a little closer, would ya? Do this and pow! Whoa, what's this screen? Dude, awesome! You can modify your save data? That's not all. You can mess around with the event flags and stuff too. It's like a universal god board. Oh no, she's giving them she's giving them action replays. <laughs> oh, this is Louis after all, so it does make sense. Wow, okay. Way to make me feel guilty for using one when I was young. I feel bad now. That's so cool! How do I get one of these? Well, there's the rub. You gotta get your chip modified by taking it to the ASIC headquarters. No sweat, I'm going! Yeah, yeah, I wanna get mine modified too! Where's ASIC? <laughs> as a special treat, I'll take you there myself. But I'll need your folks' names, addresses, and... Hey now, planning another kidnapping? Oh, come on! I'm very sad to see you try and corrupt Game Ministry's youth. Shut it! We're gonna tr we gotta train him young and make him into socially awkward dorks. Uh, one sec, kitties. She totally ran away. Aw, oh, man! I thought we were gonna get some super awesome modified chips. You kids aren't innocent either. Stop fooling around with those dangerous R4 chips. Don't you think games are way more fun and rewarding when you don't cheat at them? Yeah, whatever. This is boring. I'm gonna go home. Kids will be kids. Those children have no idea what they're doing to game industry. Take it as a first-hand proof that morals have fallen to an all-time low. We gotta do something quick. Okay, so scamming the elderly and there scamming children. What's next? What's next, underling? What could possibly be next? Damn it, they won't leave me alone! I'll never get my job done! Ugh, I can't keep doing petty crap like this forever. I gotta buy my golden ticket out of grunt work. Meow. Huh? Be a cat. Can't you see I'm pissed off? Meow. Meow. I just said to get away. What? You hungry or something? Meow. Ugh. Ugh. I think I have some bread left over from lunch. Yeah, here it is. Hold your horses, cat. This bread isn't free. If you really want it, you gotta put your faith into R4, okay? Meow! Nice. A deal's a deal. Eat up. Meow! 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 Yes, a new recruit. Finally. As if a cat could actually do anything for us. Meow! <laughs> you stupid or something? Eat it slow and chew it up. Otherwise, you'll choke. I'm a bit torn about this. Yes, I see just got a new follower, but... Uh, I think we can let this one slide. Yeah, convince a cat. That really proves that you have no other ideas. It doesn't look like Miss Underling is looking for the mascot at all. Nope, she's just trying to put people's faith in R4. I think she completely forgot about looking for the mascot. Maybe she doesn't know where it is. I mean, she's just an under. That's also fair. I didn't expect this plan to work perfectly anyway. Maybe we should think up a new strategy. Um, please excuse me for a moment. What's up? Oh, I bet it's tinkle time, isn't it? The cold makes me pee a lot too, so go for Red, it. Red, what the hell? You couldn't be more inappropriate if you tried. Okay, maybe it's not that inappropriate, but still, read the room. How embarrassing. Poor Nepgear. Please don't shout out stuff like that. Yeah, for real. You have no sense, do you, Red? <sighs> Took a while to find a place, so I better hurry back. Huh? Nobody's here. Wasn't this where we were? Did I get lost just like that? Hiya? Kampa? Goodness, what should I do? 
I mean, they should have followed you. Why would they not follow you? I mean, they don't have to follow you into the bathroom, but they should at least wait for you outside. So honestly, Nukir, I think it's more on them. Someone should have at least waited outside for you. Jeez. Where is it? Oh. Hmm? Ron, is that you? Huh? <gasps> the meanie CPU. No, no. I'm really not mean. Please don't be scared, okay? You're not gonna bully me? I would never. Are you also lost? I got separated from my friends. No, I I'm not lost. I'm looking for my pen. Your pen? It was half of a set. Mine matched Rams. It's important, but I dropped it somewhere. I would be surprised if you dropped it when you were kidnapped. Oh, you poor thing. Hmm. Do you remember where you may have dropped it? I was thinking it was when that bad lady took me. Then you should probably look in that place, shouldn't you? I see. Let's retrace your steps. I'll help you out, so turn that frown upside down. Aw, Nebgear, you're so good with children. You're gonna help me? I sure am. We need to hurry, otherwise the sun will set and finding it will be really tough. Okay. Now, children should not take advice from strangers if they really don't know them. But considering that this is a game and that these two are both the same type of character, probably fine. But children should not take advice from people that seem like they're gonna help them. It's pretty sus. Definitely go to an adult if you need help. But yeah, this game is just being cliche and it has to have some sort of Deus Ex Machina to help these two get along somehow. But yeah, don't learn from our example, kids. Don't talk to strangers. You were kidnapped right around this spot, right? I sure hope we find the pen right away. Pen. pen. Why are you calling it? Hmm, nothing here. Do you see anything wrong? Uh-uh. Hmm. Must be somewhere else then. Um, miss? Huh? Miss? Is that me? Uh-huh. Oh, um, thank you and all, but it's a bit embarrassing to be called that at my age. At your age? How old are you, Nibgear? No, no. I can't let you call me something so mature and flattering. Please, just call me Nepgear. Then... Miss Nepgear? I mean, she's a child and you seem to be an adolescent, so of course she's going to see you as an older figure to at least look up to. And respect. So just take it, Nepgear. It's not that big a deal. Okay, that works. What is it, Ron? Do you know my big sister? Oh, Juan? Yes, but we didn't talk a lot or anything. She seems smart with an air of mystery, and... She never came home. Where is she? Um, well, Blonde is still stuck in the game industry graveyard with the other CPUs, so... <laughs> I really miss her. Uh, um... Please don't cry. I'm sure she's just fine. I'm doing my best to save her. Doing just fine, Nepgear? Did we not see the exact same thing? I suppose you can't really tell her that, though, because, yeah, that would make everything worse. But, yeah, I hope she's fine. I mean, I failed back then, but I promise to save her next time, so there's no need to cry, okay? <laughs> Good girl. Thank you very much. Let's try looking somewhere else for your pen, okay? I mean, why don't you go to the dungeon, yeah. She dragged you here after taking you hostage, right? If it wasn't in the city, maybe it's here. Uh-huh. Miss Nepgear? Why did you come to Louis? I'm looking for Louis's mascot. I wanted to ask for as much help as I can get to save our sisters. But Louis is really, really far away from Planet Doom. Oh, that's not that far. Especially when considering this is all to save our sisters. And the world. Oh, and listen to this. I went to last station before this, and met this other girl, Yuni. Honestly, I was hoping that you and Ram could journey with me. With you? Yes, but it's okay if you can't. I already have IF, Kampa, and even Red with me, so... I'm sure we'll be able to find and bring our sisters home safely. Goodness, nothing here either. Should we walk a bit farther? Hmm, still 
still no sign of it. How strange. This is the end of the road, so to speak. I mean, you've got lots of places to look. This place is huge. Um, why are you helping me? I couldn't possibly leave you to worry about this all alone. But you have things to do, too. <laughs> That's very true. Maybe I shouldn't let myself get sidetracked all the time. But if I ignored someone in need, I bet my sister would smack me with a wet noodle. Uh, wet noodle? Like a pool noodle? I can kind of see Neptune doing that. If our roles were switched, I bet you would have helped me too. It's only natural to help, right? Oh, wow, I think I found it. Is this your pen? Oh, that's it. What a relief. That took longer than expected. But do you feel better now? Um, Ram might be mad at me. Well, I'm certain she's worried about you at least. Let's get you back home, okay? Uh-huh. Uh, um... Hmm? What is it? Uh, thank you. Aw, she thanked me. <laughs> I hope she thinks of me more like a friend now. As for me, I, mean, she's, I should... She seems to be definitely a lot easier to get along with than her sister. Whoops! I completely forgot! They're probably looking for me. Oh, I'm gonna get yelled at. Probably. Hi. I'm so sorry I'm late. There's an understatement. How long did you plan to putz around in the bathroom? I know, I know. I really am sorry, okay? Why didn't you follow her is my question. If you followed her, this probably wouldn't have happened. Netgear's clearly not old enough to go out on her own, so why didn't you follow her? So, hey, I hate to interrupt the wifey spat, but aren't we in a pretty major hurry? <sighs> yeah, you're right. This is no time to scold each other. Oh, did something happen? We overheard Miss Sunderling on her cellular telephone. She was saying things like mascot and flock dungeon and other nifty keywords. My money is that she went to the dungeon she mentioned on the phone. Let's get there ahead of her. So now you know. It'd be a facepalm moment for me if we lost because of you. So let's move. Okay. Well, I guess we now know where it is. Block dungeon? Wow, that's a ways off. World labyrinth, more like. Okay, well, before we go, let's look at the information. I'm kidding, let's not. Um, we'll look at the shop because I did get a lot more money from grinding in the last episode. So, we do seem to have some new weapons. We have a numbing cloth for IF. And it does make her sad cloth, so let's get it. And I think that seems to be it. We now have enough for the rosy sailor. So I can show that off. Numbing claw, which of course are the paralyzing claws. Which is weird because I don't think that they actually have a paralyzing side effect. You can only get side effects when you mess around with the commands tab. So here's the rosy sailor. So, yeah, naturally it's pink and blue. Those are the colors of Louise. She looks very cute, but I kind of feel like the blue hair, the purple eyes, and the pink outfit are a little off-putting. I think it's kind of a mess, personally. I think she would look cuter if she had blonde hair. But, yep, that was the rosy sailor. So, I was able to show that. So, let's enter the world labyrinth, the first floor. Let's do our best. Jeez, there you are. Where the heck did you go? Aw, their room is adorable. Check it out. Look at all of this pastel cutesy stuff. Sorry. I dropped my pen, so I was looking for it. Your pen? Don't do that alone, you dummy. I could have helped you look for it. But I wasn't alone. Miss Nepgear was with uh -oh, me. Uh-oh. I think I know what's going to happen now. This one's going to get jealous. Miss Nepgear? Hey, she was nice to me. She helped me, so... What's gotten into you? She's our enemy! A big, bad CPU! Um... I think you're wrong. Ooh, I think Rom's starting to speak up for herself more. Bravo, Rom. You, ha you have a right to speak your mind. Even if it's to your sister, who seems to be a little controlling. I'm... What? Seriously, what's your deal? Oh, I know! She brainwashed you to think she's on our side! Oh, for God's sake, Ram, do you do you know anything about Nepgear at all? 
What makes you think that you can say that? True, you don't really know who she is, but from her actions, she seems to be a perfectly okay individual. You're just putting words in... You're just... You're just making... You're just making shit up. And you're confusing... You're confusing Rom, because she usually... Seems that she follows you around a lot, but I think she's disagreeing with you now, and you're mad, so deal with it. What? Then why are you talking back to me, Ram? When you're a meanie, I don't like it. Hey, Rom! Wait! Jeez, I can't believe she'd mouth off to me like that. Why do you think you're in control exactly? Who gave you such a big head that you think that you are allowed to speak anything that your sister wants? It's all because of her. That big, dumb, mean CPU. Oh uh, my god, she's a... Uh, she's a child. She is a child. This is okay. I just hate behavior like this. Really grinds my gears. Well, I'm proud of Rom for speaking up for herself. Good for her. Okay, we have another one of these. More Tetris enemies. What are the, what does it say this time? Tetsri. Tet Tetsri. I think that's how it's said. Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. But yeah, this place looks like a gigantic Tetris field if you look at it. What's that? Is that the Illuminati? I'm kidding. Oh, not this thing again. I remember this was this was an enemy in the first game. Yeah, the Tokimeki sister. The visual novel enemy. I need to calm myself. The Not a surprise. I did it. I can't wait. Well, we got the invaders from Space Quest done. Good for us, good for us. We took no damage. We're just getting status okay. conditions from these fights. It's kind of funny. Okay, we have another next shield. Cool. Let's see what's over here. Oh, this looks... It, are they lions? Yep, lion Vader. So, who wants to get They're lions. I can go anytime. Where's the sorry? Seems to be no problems here. Uh oh, never mind. I spoke too soon. But then again, that damage is still pretty laughably bad. So I don't think we're we're in any trouble just because it went viral. Pretty good experience here. You could probably grind from here. You, you could probably grind to level 30 from here. If you wanted to. So what's this? Terrorist. It's a terrorist! I'm kidding. Red it's a terrorist. blocky terrorist. <laughs> I, okay. Okay, I see another one of these little items over here. Ooh! We got, we got some, we got, um, we got an, a processor part. Okay, it makes, strength, it, it makes strength go up to 524, but it makes everything else over there go down. Also makes resistance to fire go up. You know what? It's kind of cool. I think I'll keep it. It's not bad. What's this? Oh, another one of these. This one's for the wind. Okay, so this one makes strength go down. Tricky. I can't decide. I kind of want her to be more physically viable in terms of attack, so I think I might keep the the one of the flame. What the hell is this? Oh god, I hate it! I hate it! I hate I it! Why? What is this a reference to? Is it a reference to anything? Is this a reference to? Oh, is this a reference to face faders? Maybe, that's the only thing I can think of. That was a fun game. Okay, so the event is right here. Oh! New weapon for next year, perfect. Alright, let's go. Beam Buster. Ooh, very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. That'll definitely help. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna go off screen again. Because I feel like going off screen has benefited me more than more often than not. So, I'll see you guys in just a moment. Alright you guys, I have returned, and I grinded to level 30 just like I said I would. It's not that much, but I feel like this it's probably so a bad. good place to at least try. So let's hope that this is good enough, so let's move on. Dude, Matt's got sighted! Wow, that was easy. We made it here first. Who's there? Okay, this is, uh... 
<laughs> this is just blonde. The white disc is just blonde. Hello. We're sorry to intrude, but we'd like to ask for your help. Could you please lend us your aid? Okay, listen. This is just blonde talking. Just listen. Is that Neptune? No, no. You resemble her, but your aura is unmistakably different. I can't. Uh, is that really blonde? It sounds just like her. You know my sister? Your sister, huh? I see. You're her younger sister. I know Neptune very well. She was the one who asked me to stay here after all. I still can't believe that they just made they just gave this disc the same voice as the CPU of their nation. Talk about lazy. What? Why would Planetune's CPU give orders to Louise mascot? That's a good point. Why would you take any orders from Neptune? That's the bigger question. Louis has no mascot. ASIC made sure of that. Oh. Then you are. I was originally one of Planetune's mascots until I came here on Neptune's behest. So this is another mascot of Planetune that has Blonde's voice. She probably chose this mascot because she sounded just like Lon. <laughs> Typical Neptune being simple-minded. She asked that I ensure prosperity for Louis, a land that had lost all its mascots. Neptune. That said, I cannot help you. It would go against the order that your own sister gave me. Or do you wish to ignore your sister's commands and force me to come along with you? That's... But Neptune's being held captive, so... Um, well, I mean, we should... Sorry. Perhaps my words were a bit harsh. But that's not the only reason why I must remain here. The Oracle of Louis gave me a very important mission. I cannot abandon this duty, no matter what. Oh, okay, so the Oracle gave you a mission along with Neptune. And she wouldn't give us that mission either. Weird. I guess I recall the Oracle saying something about that. What exactly is this important mission? I mean, she said it was confidential, but if she herself gave it, then why can't she say it? Well... Found ya! You're mine, mascot! Aw, oh, hell no! Underling already caught up! What the hell? How'd you idiots find this place? Because we tailed you. <laughs> we beat you here after we eavesdropped on your phone call. Dude, that's really low. Not very CPU-like at all, you know? Fair enough, but you've committed more than enough crimes to not be able to say anything. It's your fault for talking so loud on the phone. Now that we're here, you won't touch the mascot. You broads are too naive. Why'd you think I took so long? I came prepared this time. What now? Look at all the Mr. Monsters! They're probably grunt enemies. Yeah, have fun with that. In the meantime... This could be bad. Let's get rid of these monsters quick! I mean, can't someone fight Underling? Before she gets to the mascot? There's four of us, is there not? Why don't we give that job to Red, so that way she doesn't gain any experience. Right! Seriously? Nice. Oh, it's just... It's just it's two of turn. these. Uh, I see hedgehog. Okay, so first they're cats. First they're cats, and now they're hedgehogs. Okay, this game needs to make up its mind on what the hell these things are. There we go. Easy win. Easy win. We did it. Is the mascot still okay? I. I think the mascot disappeared. Again, someone could have fought Underling. There were only two of them. There were only two monsters and four of us. This was more on your incompetence, to be honest. I hate to say it. <laughs> disappeared is right. I destroyed it while you were busy fighting my minions. Oh, for God's sake. We weren't fast enough. This... Is the disc that housed the mascot? It's in pieces. Again, there were only two monsters. One of you could have taken care of a monster each, while the other two could have fought Underling. This is honestly your fault. I'm sorry to say, but this is just in 
This is inconsistent. This is so inconsistent that it kind of makes me mad. Someone could have guarded the mascot and fought underling. But nope, we had to fight those two monsters. This was just inexcusably stupid. I hope you realize what you've done. We won't let you run away this time. Can we beat the crap out of her, please? Oh? Are you sure you have the time to waste on me? With the mascot gone, it's gonna be released. Um, what is? The machine's sealed away in another dimension by the mascot. The Killashine is back, bitches. <laughs> no, not the Killashine! Oh my god, no. Chocolate Man's dirty work. I thought he redeemed himself. Then again, the, the first game isn't exactly fully canon, but still, the Killashine is back? Great. I guess he was a follower of Louis before he decided to infiltrate Last Station. He was a Whiteheart simp. Of course he'd house some of his toys here. Lovely. Whoa! What is this thing? It looks really cool! Like a super robot used in war! Now's not the time to get starry-eyed, Red. It really isn't. The mascot had must have been to keep this thing from becoming active. Why is it here in the first place? Here it comes! If we can release a ton of these at once, Louis will surrender to us overnight. Are you really that low? My god. Go, Killashine! Rid me of these noisy brats once and for all! Get ready! Uh. It's not moving. J just give me a sec, would ya? Yo, Killashine. Hey, dude. Why are you talking to it like that? Maybe it got all rusted from being sealed away for so long. Th that's not funny. Why is this happening? And after that badass setup, too. Move it, scraphead. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. How are we? It must be an old machine if you can fix it with a couple of solid kicks. Took the words right out of my mouth, I have. Also, I could barely hear you. Shut up! Who cares as long as it ends up working? Go get him, Killashine! <sighs> what? Who should I play with? Whoa, okay, our old nemesis is back. Guess we'd better buff ourselves up. It's my turn. Let's All right, let's see if that headpiece that she's wearing is doing much good. Oh yeah, look at that. This this is fine. This is totally fine. To me. This is fine. We got Red this. To... Where's the patient? It's my turn. Leave it to me. It's my... Button mash and skip the animations because it's my turn. who it's wants my to turn. bother with this? It's my... Where's the patient? It's my turn. <laughs> That was too easy. It didn't even do anything. Whoa! That's some solid steel. Wait, was I supposed to lose that fight? Did I win by accident? It's hard to tell if our attacks are even affecting it. Uh, it didn't do anything. Dang, this is getting us nowhere. We gotta pull back for now and see if the Oracle has any advice. Imagine if I was supposed to lose that fight. If I was supposed to lose, I would have been doing zero damage. So, what was the point of this exactly? Are we really gonna be able to run away from a flying machine? What's this? Running away? Go ahead! I'd love to watch you all flee in terror! Not like it really matters, because you'll be smashed into goo either way! Ooh! Challenge accepted! I'll never turn tail against anything that threatens my wifey. Ignore her! If she's letting us go, we've gotta take advantage of that! Come on, hurry! <sighs> Don't you worry. I'll beat you up real good next time. Well, so much for that. <sighs> We're all safe for now. Yeah, let's see the Oracle. If more of those machines appear, we're in for a really long night. Well, that makes sense, I Where are we going? guess. At least 
our force powers are completely down the drain. Maybe you. that's why I didn't Just have a lot of trouble go. fighting this monster, because yeah, our shares are through the roof right now. At least Planetunes are, so yeah, Nepgear is pretty powerful. Anyway, guys, I think that's Let's actually see. where we're going to end it for today. I think we're Can way past the time frame, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had as much fun as I did. And I hope to see you in the next episode. So next time on Hyperdimension Neptune Air Rebirth 1, we're going to head back to Louis and okay. report to the Oracle about the Killachine. I still can't believe it came back. What the hell was Chocolate Man thinking putting this thing here? If he exists in this dimension, that is. Anyway, I hope you all have a great rest of your day. This is the next Queen, signing off. Bye-bye!